Cargo takes off. This ball's crushed deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Oh, what a first half. Nolan Arenado is having. Black. Oh, the actual eye yeah. yeah. Yes. There's Nolan. Good look at play on Sanchez. You're out. Pretty special. He's got the eye black on. Not even close. Stanton's got 23. He's going to add to it. This ball's got to get down in the way. It's a gapper. Tulowitzki should score. And Nolan into second. He's going to hunt a triple now. And he's there. 3-2 on Castillo. And that's bounced toward Nolan. He's going to pick it up with his big hand. Hey, what's going on, boys and girls? This is uh, Baseball Freak 075, and we're bringing you an awesome video here today. Um, so excited. Little update video on uh, my team, the Cardinals. Uh, so, as I'm sure you guys know by now, and especially by the thumbnail, the Cardinals have acquired Nolan Arenado, presumably the best third baseman in the entire game of baseball. And in my opinion, I mean, he's the best. Um, I like Matt Chapman a lot, I like Bregman, I like Rendon, but Arenado is just the most proven out of uh, all of those individuals, in my opinion. He's the best complete player. And uh, just just getting uh, like off the ground here, um, aside from Mike Trout and Pujols, um, for obvious reasons, um, Arenado is my favorite player that was not a Cardinal up until this point. And I can't even put into words. Like, this doesn't even feel real that this is happening. I mean, I was really excited when we got Goldschmidt. Don't get me wrong. I thought that was amazing. I was so excited for that. But Arenado is a completely different player. Um, he brings so, so much to this team. And especially with Goldie being a complimentary piece, uh, I, I presume the batting lineup will be Goldie, then Arenado. We'll see how it goes. But... And it isn't entirely confirmed. It's all but confirmed. Um, it isn't finalized, uh, rather, should I say. Um, they're going to have to deal with the opt-out and uh, see what that brings to the table. But it is essentially confirmed. MLB reported on it. Ken Rosenthal, um, all the reporters went out and uh, declared it official. Um, no, again, no, uh, it's not finalized, but it is ready to be done. And um, I, I am literally at a loss for words. Um, uh, I had zero faith for this Cardinals um, front office and this Cardinals team. I was hoping maybe we'd get Molina and Wayne right back and Wong at best. But so far, the direction they're going, it's looking like it's going to be pretty good. Especially if the opt-out isn't dealt with because... If you traded, I mean, granted the Cardinals didn't trade anything crazy. We can go look right here and see exactly. Um, and uh, this isn't 100%. Um, this, I don't know if you guys can see this. I, I hope you can. But if you can't, um, Austin Gomber was the big piece here. It's going to suck that he's not in the team. But you know what? If it's him or, or, or uh, Arenado, I'm taking Arenado all day. Um, outfielder Juan Torres. And, uh, again, these Luke and Baker was proven uh, – He's in this tweet, but it was proven that he's not involved. Um, it also mentions Jake Woodford and Angel Rendon. Again, there's some good uh, prospects there, but nothing 100%. And, uh, yeah, so basically what's happening is the Cardinals are going to receive Nolan Arenado, what we know right now, the Cardinals are going to receive Nolan Arenado and $50 million, and uh, the Rockies are going to get Austin Gomber and a couple prospects, and, uh, I mean, this was a straight-up steal. I, I, I have hardly ever seen anything like this happen. I mean, you thought the Darvish trade was a steal? No, this is a steal. This is a just... I, I, I can't even put into words how big of an acquisition this is for the Cardinals. Um, I, I personally thought they were going to go into a kind of a rebuild-ish year and let Yachty and Wainwright finish out, um... But I guess they're they're actually gonna give themselves a fighting chance, at least for sure to win the division. If not, maybe I don't. I'm not saying they're gonna compete with the Padres or the Dodgers, but they're definitely going to be in the in the playoffs. Uh, you can chalk that down and um, win the division by far, uh, for sure. And um, I mean, it's only up from here, guys. Uh, Wainwright signed back yesterday. 
and Yachty is all but confirmed he's going to sign. He posted a picture of him and Wainwright on uh, Instagram saying "Mi hermano," and he's not he's not leaving. Um, plus, all the speculation around it that he's going to resign with the Cardinals. Anyways, I don't know this, but this is just my opinion, guys. I, I'm just really excited. And I want to put a video out there just in case, for whatever reason, you know anybody didn't know, and just give this from a Cardinals fan's perspective because. I mean, I'm going to wake up tomorrow, and it's not even going to feel like it happened. This is all going to feel like a dream. And until Nolan Arenado is out there on the field or in the uh, doing a press conference, it's not going to seem real. It's all going to seem like a dream up until that point. That's how it was with Goldschmidt. And to just actually get an offensive, not only offensive, but defensive juggernaut on the team, another leader, a team captain, someone with a flair, attitude, passion for the game, which, don't get me wrong, I love Goldschmidt, and it might seem like I'm bashing him, but you just don't see the love for the game uh, from him. Arenado has that it factor. That's what makes him so special besides his ability to just play. He puts his life on the line, in a sense, for the game. And that's what I've always respected about Nolan Arenado. He has a certain flair that is only had by a couple players. There's not really much to be said besides great job, John Mozilek and company. Um, I have had my fair share of words to say about them. But then again, they come out here and do something like this. I mean, what can you say except great job? Um, I'm looking so forward to getting into this season now. Um, I kind of was just... not I want, Not wanting to say not caring, but just kind of like just yeah, it's what it is it's awesome we got Wayne right back and I was just waiting to hear Yachty get mentioned he will at some point but seeing that that puts you in such good spirits especially when the division is right there from the taking uh but I'm gonna stop rambling um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below is this a good trade or not um let me know what you think about it from both sides I think it it, it makes sense from the Rockies perspective because they're getting more uh space like cap space and uh all that but I mean, I feel so bad for the Rockies fans. Um, I, I, I would hate to be in your guys' shoes. You guys let DJ LeMahieu walk. Trevor Story isn't signed, um, uh, at least up to this point, uh, not through next season. So this is his last year on uh, paper right now. And uh, my heart just goes out to you guys, um, just like I did with the Diamondbacks after the Goldschmidt trade. Um, wish you guys nothing but the best, though. And uh, we will do our uh, due diligence, John Lazilak says, um, to uh, love Nolan Arenado and cherish him every second he's on the field. Um, that man is going to get one of the craziest standing ovations you have ever seen um, on opening day. I can guarantee you that. Um, and he's going to be loved by the city of St. Louis and the fans for however long he's here. I can promise you that, Rockies fans. So know that he will be admired and loved. Uh, like he should be. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.